What is going on guys? Welcome to your 77th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about something called adapter classes. Now in the last tutorial, when we implemented from the interface like mouse listener and mouse motion listener, we had to implement seven different methods. And those are kind of time consuming and sometimes you don't always want your program to detect all of those different methods sometimes you only want your program to be able to tell when a user clicks something instead of drag release move you only need one of those so what java did is in order to kind of save you some time they made something called an adapter class and what an adapter class does is it already implements an interface and it overrides it with a method body that is pretty much a blank body or pretty much a body that does nothing and you're saying alright what's the point of that well in that way when you inherit from an adapter class you only have to override the methods that you need so it's pretty cool in the sense that you don't have to override all of those seven time consuming methods like we did before you only have to override the ones that you're going to use and the rest whenever you do them they just don't do anything at all just like we wanted them to so let me go sh ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about I'm gonna make two variables for our program again get all your imports right here and the first thing they're both gonna be private variables I'm gonna put string in details and what this program is gonna do is it's pretty much just gonna say how many times um well you'll see what it does but pretty much this details is gonna tell what's gonna be displayed in the status bar so that's all you need to know for now private j label and just put status bar or whatever you named it last time and now we got two private variables the status bar and the details is pretty much gonna be the text that's gonna appear in your status bar so now we can go ahead and build our constructor which is public GUI it's not going to take any parameters and for the body let's go ahead and add a title super title since you should always have a title get that out of there we'll name it toodle I mean why not might as well next we can go ahead and build our status bar which is the only thing we're really going to want to appear in the window so wow I really messed that up status bar and set equal to new j label and just have the text by default um, just put this is default it's just going to be the first thing that appears um, after we start doing the stuff this is going to disappear but now let's go ahead and add this to the window we'll put add status bar and of course go ahead and put like border layout dot south and now there we go it'll appear at the bottom of the screen if you put south we'll be going over that later and now we need to add of course the mouse listener just like that add mouse listener and the parameter it takes here is an object of the class we're going to build and we're going to be building a new class called new mouse class and don't forget your empty parameters for that so make sure we didn't mess oh I know we're getting an error because we didn't build the class yet so let's go ahead and create a class called mouse class and what this mouse class is, well, let's just go ahead and throw private class mouse class extends. So we need to build a mouse class because that's what the parameter it took. And in our class, we're going to pretty much define how to handle these mouse events. And we want it to extend mouse adapter. And this adapter class that we're extending from, this is the class that's built into Java already. So this can be custom, whatever you named. But this has to mean mouse adapter. You have to type it just like that. And again, this adapter class is, go is going to allow you to overwrite only the methods that you need to overwrite. So let's go ahead and first, um, the only thing we're going to want to be working with is public void mouse clicked. That's the only thing we care about when they click. We don't care when they drag or anything else like that. So I'll put mouse event event. Oh my god, can I not type? I mean seriously. Mouse event event. And let's go ahead and type what do we want to happen when they click the mouse? Well, let's go ahead and take those details right up here that we're gonna have and put details um, set it equal to string dot format 
and let's go ahead and put something that takes two arguments um put you clicked percent d so it's uh, gonna say you clicked percent d and for percent d what we want to do is take that event which is pretty much means when we click and we put git click count just like that bam I already filled it in for us so it's gonna say you clicked five six eighteen whatever doesn't fill in in the end yet so now we're gonna have to make an if statement and we're gonna have three parameters to finish this detail variable so if event and here's another kind of confusing thing dot is meta down and if you're saying all right what the heck is meta down and what's it mean well whenever you're building a Java program you don't really know what kind of mouse the user is using there's three kind of main mouses there's a one button mouse like on the Mac a two button which is like old classic or a three button mouse and the third button is that scroll wheel so in order to distinguish the types of buttons that they have you just can't assume that they're using all your users are using the same one so if you ever use the Mac then how they make up for this rice mount I mean the right mouse button is they have something called meta which is called the command or apple key that they can hold down and when they click the mouse it simulates the right mouse button or they can hold the alt key and when they click the alt key and click their mouse it simulates um what is it the alt is the center mouse button so that is how you can tell I mean for now when we click the right mouse button it's gonna work perfectly but this pretty much is just for people who use um, special like one button or two button mouses if you have a third three button mouse then this is pretty much what it does so if meta button is down or is meta down take your details and I know I'm probably just gonna explain it a lot easier just by showing you what the program is but add to the end of that details variable so you clicked five we'll say for example and then go ahead and what do we want to append alright there we go um with right mouse button so if meta is down which is mean if they click the right mouse button or if they hold down that meta key it's gonna say with the right mouse button else if uh, what else do we want to test um, event is alt down just like that let's go ahead and first put that back and details plus equals with center mouse button and the cool thing about this else by default you don't have to test anything because you know it's just a regular click down with left mouse button so that's how you distinguish between the right the center and the left mouse button um, for different types of mice and I spelled details wrong so and now I spelled it right so that's all we have to do so now we have a variable called details and it's a string it starts with you clicked and it says a number and says with the right mouse button um either why did I put either why don't I just put with embarrassing and then I pretty much this is the beginning and one of these is the end of the string and now all we have to do is add this to the screen so put status bar set text and for the text we're just gonna write that details variable so the status bar is gonna set equal to the details variable and now we can go ahead and run it and I can show you guys what it does so it says this is default which you put that by default and I'm gonna go ahead and click my left mouse button now look click one two three four five and then if you move it and click your center look what happens center center clicking with my center or in other words my scroll wheel and then go ahead and click your with your right and if you go ahead and move this then it's actually a new event so you if you wanna make your things go up you gotta stay in the same place um if you're moving it then it actually is a move event so that's why it resets but that's your basics of how to distinguish between um the right the center and left and also how to use a mouse adapter class to only overwrite the methods that you want again we only overwrote one method and we didn't have to overwrite all seven for our program to work so that's the power of mouse adapter class but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time